All right, let's watch Taskmaster. Let's watch Taskmaster. Let's go. It's been so long. Oh, I'm so excited. Series 9, Episode 5. David Medeo. David. Ed. Ed. Ed is so fucking handsome. Medeo. What the fuck, and man? He's, he's like a robot. Human beings don't look like this. This is absurd. What do I have to do? I, I guess maybe eat right and exercise? Fuck that. Another spoon? Uh, that is a Katie type. What? Am I? Why is Carrie Godlam in here? See, this is the wrong series. Joe Brown. Joe Brown? Not Katie Wicks. Is Katie dead? Now, cleaner eyes would have observed that the lovely Katie Wicks is not with us tonight. Mm -hmm. And it falls. My eyes. Very keen. Very, very keen. Falls upon Alex to explain why. Well, yes, very sadly, Katie Wicks has. Uh, uh, COVID. She was the fucking patient zero. <laughs> She's uh, you want me to take over. She's not dead, just to be clear. <laughs> Katie is not very well, I'm afraid, but um, she's getting better already, and she'll join us later in the series. Um, but in the meantime, we've been rejoined. By an absolute champion. She's the winner of Series 7 of Taskmaster. It's Kerry Godley, Kerry Godley Wow, Kerry's back. Kerry, thank you for stepping in. I'm, I'm very sure, happy to be here. I'm sure you will inhabit. Inhabit, inhabit. I'm sure you'll inhabit Katie Wicks. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Am I understanding, was Katie sick during filming? Or is it going to be Katie's tasks and, and Kerry is just doing the prize task? I guess we'll have to find out. Category this week. What a now mystery. Now you're asking, and the answer is that they've been asked to bring in the best defunct thing. Defunct? Just the right. live show. Got right. it. Right. Yes. Perfect. Carrie killed her to get on the show again. Hell yeah. What is your defunct item? A sharp spin filled with used syringes from my flatmate. <laughs> Here it is. What the fuck? Uh... Is your flatmate a heroin addict? <laughs> No, she has arthritis. Oh. Um. <laughs> I have arthritis, and I don't have a sharp spin. Keep oh. it light, Rose. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for getting us off to such a fluffy... <laughs> ...entertainment start. <laughs> Joe. It is a Margaret Thatcher nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> the wicked bitch is dead. I, mean, I have so many questions. <laughs> is it defunct? Yeah, well, she's defunct, for starters. <laughs> <laughs> My granddad used to be able to crack a walnut just with his hand. No. Yeah. Other than that, wasn't a very nice man. <laughs> <laughs> keep it light, keep it light! <laughs> <laughs> Katie's dead, his grandfather abused him, she brought in her heroin user roommate Sharpspin. We are getting off to a start. Kerry. Yes. What did Katie bring in? Um, can you fill a minute talking about it? <laughs> she has bought in a £5 Woolworths voucher. There it is. Oh, oh that's right. I yes. have no idea why that caused such excitement. <laughs> five yeah. pound yeah. Woolworths and that voucher? that wasn't one person. Yeah. Yeah. You could buy all kinds of things, like millions. You could buy clothes. You could buy gardening equipment. Pick a mix. I mean, pick a, pick a mix. mix. This is, is what gone? I brought in. That's a lovely picture of me with my cat, oh. Monk. Oh, I hope the cat's not dead. Key. That was taken a couple of years ago, and this is Monkey now. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's fine that the cat's dead. Holy shit! In a G Fuel container. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like Monkey's being held against his will. Though. Yeah. <laughs> the first defunct thing for me is a bin full of old syringes. <laughs> I mean, I can't now imagine that I'm giving your Millennium thing an extra point. Full of no, because if you look at if you look <laughs> at best and worst objectively, better. I mean, do, are you judging on better or the most <laughs> defunct thing? No, no, it's not most no, defunct it's thing. It's best no, defunct. It's best defunct. Thing. Ah, so it is defunct. best okay, defunct. And how do we rank them then? Yeah. No, that's, that's crazy. That's language. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's language. He's putting on a performance. He's a tour de force this episode. <laughs> Are we going two points to Ed? Thank you. Place? I'm yeah, going to give three you. points to Joe Brand. <laughs> In first place, uh -huh. with five points, 
just because I believe it had an unhappy life of being held against its will. <laughs> oh, Monkey the Dead Cat. The, what's his name? <laughs> David Baddiel. Oh, Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? David Baddiel is so funny. Oh, monkey. Oh. Good oh. cry staff. Really cool She's so sinister. Hello. I've got a helmet on. Lasso Alex. Is he going to try and dodge? You must stand behind this line at all times. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Fastest what? Or do you like to do this? <laughs> no, you've got it, Katie. I'll just do a trial one. Oh, no. Oh, I know what you do. You get it going. No, and then you way too deep. Way too deep. Hold, hold closer. And then... <laughs> I wonder if you tell Alex to go on his knees. Can I make this bigger? Oh, can you lean forward a bit more? Oh, really? She got him. <laughs> You've got to try and talk yourself into even half a point. I mean, it was... I don't know what to say. It was awful. <laughs> It's really funny getting someone else in to defend a person's performance. Because usually they're like, well, uh, it's hard when you're up there. The bright lights. Oh, no, there's time pressure on it. But Carrie's in here and she's going, well, that was shit. That was absolute shit, Katie. I don't know what you're doing on this show. You, do, who, you, can, you get like, all of it involved. And then you go wallop. That's yeah. how you do it. <laughs> and then you go wallop, of course. Now yeah, it's the turn of Ed, Rose, and John. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, Ed. Just thinking I might move that line. <gasps> Joe? Can I just move it for, for forward? Uh -huh. Oh! Oh! Untaping it is even funny. Uh, turns out I'm shit at listening. Don't look at your watch. Oh, Rose. Rose! Put your glasses on, Rose. Okay. Yeah. Okay, she's good. Yeah. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha, he finally got there. Stop the clock. <laughs> stop the heat says stop the clock. You realised you could move the line, but thought, no, I won't move it too close. <laughs> yeah, Rose has done that twice this series, where she has done a scamaz, like she has lateral thought her way out of a problem, but has only gone halfway. Or, like, what's another example? Remember when Nish and his team were trying to get to the end, and when they figured out their jumping system, they only jumped halfway, knocking over the rubber ducks. It was the knocking over the rubber ducks task. Just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. I, I have no defense for that. <laughs> so tell me some stuff. Yeah, well, first of all, to say that Joe is right. It didn't say you can't move the line. Rose moved the line after one minute, but then took another minute and 20 seconds. <laughs> to move so it again. more than half her time was after <laughs> she moved the line. <laughs> Bearing in mind, Katie took seven and a half minutes. Ed, nine and a half minutes. Oh, <laughs> Ed. We oh, you beautiful, stupid bastard. Here's Uncle Dave. <laughs> Imagine he binks it. <laughs> uh, that was a good yeehaw. another way around this. Oh, another <laughs> spoon is the title. I have to do the spoons idea. Ready? I'm ready. What is happening, Ed? Uh, sorry, David. David the deal. I'll be honest. The spoons haven't helped. <laughs> okay, can you... <laughs> what what is he thinking? It's definitely coming now. <laughs> oh, 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 I like the thinking, it's just bad. <laughs> okay, now just, no, 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 stay down. Okay, now just sort of jiggle a bit. <laughs> so keep jiggling. Okay, stay there. A bit like a pig. Stay there. Oh, he's lassoed. Oh, he's lassoed, baby. I feel really bad about what I said about Katie now. <laughs> <laughs> there is not one other person on the planet who would think that the way to improve your chances of lassoing something <laughs> is to tie wooden spoons <laughs> to get inside David's mind when he goes, I'm going to put another spoon <laughs> Ah, there it is, another spoon. You took slightly longer than all four of the others combined. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, it was 24 minutes. 24, 24 minutes, right. OK, well, it's the usual, and we've got two points to... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> three points to Katie and Damn, Kerry, Katie got points three points, even though she was terrible.
And Joe won. She was the first person to think about moving the strike. Ed is in last place with four, but the mm. leader at That's bad for the point, series. for the first time, I think, is Joe, Joe. Brown with eight points. Yay! Wow. It's breakfast time for Daddy. Make the most accurate and inventive egg timer. Mm. You have 10 minutes to plan your egg timer, 20 minutes to make your egg timer. Alex will boil an egg for as long as your egg timer lasts. Oh. The taskmaster likes his eggs runny, but not too runny. Uh, you may not use any pre-existing timing devices. That include, like, a watch. <laughs> yes. <exactly. laughs> no, but include a watch, David. I need to get the amount, right amount of water so it's six minutes of dripping onto your head. So that is Chinese water torture? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Katie's first idea. Why? I feel like there is a hidden task that I don't understand this season where they have to mention war crimes, right? We had David Baddiel talking about the Nazi occupation. We had Joe Brand talking about Guantanamo Bay. And now we have Katie talking about Chinese water torture. And I don't understand it because that's already three more allusions to war crimes than in the other eight seasons combined. Right? Two glass vases. Butcher's hook. Maltesers. Can I get a birthday card, just in case? Oh, boy. Right, now that's all right, that's all right. Oh, he's just, just making it you look nice. Oh. Okay, start the machine. It's just an hourglass. Oh, it's going too slow. Oh, this is going to overcook. This is going to be a rubbery egg. <laughs> oh, David. Okay, it stopped legally. Well, it took the same time as it takes to cook a three pound lobster 18 minutes and four seconds. I want you to be the timing device. I want you to put a Malteser in your mouth every second for six minutes. Every second. Every second. Yeah, this is 360 Maltesers. I will dress you as an egg. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna eat one every second. Oh no. I just don't think you can eat it fast enough. All right, take it out. Hold. Ah, over to it. What you're happy with, right? I gave very clear instructions to eat one of those things every second, and that would have been exactly six minutes, which is the perfect soft-boiled egg. So he must have lagged behind on the eating speed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alex just laughs. Come on, kid. Know who you're talking to. I did one item every four seconds, which what? is not bad. You did what? it four times as long as I specified. <laughs> it's impossible. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> That's Rocket science, mate. <laughs> <laughs> It took, it took 28 <laughs> seconds longer than David's. 18 minutes and 32 seconds. It's quite a big egg timer. Yeah, it's quite, um, it's quite a big egg. Nemo. OK. Right. <laughs> this might be good. It's like a big stabbed in the head. Okay, hold. There is a bit of give, <gasps> but I wouldn't call it runny. Ah, uh, hey, closest so far. Um, why did we need the fish? <laughs> I think it was just a bit of finesse, but now you've brought it up, I feel like I'm going to mark Katie down. No, no, it's really inventive. Yeah. It's the same system yeah. as David's, really, but just slightly better executed. Well, that's not very nice. I didn't fucking torture you. <laughs> 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 Do you want to see Rose's attempt? <laughs> yeah. Dear Alex. Dear Taskmaster, here are some instructions. Bring a pot of water to the boil. Then oh. place your egg into pot. Light all five candles on the cake. When most of the candles burn out to be flush with the cake top, uh -huh. take your egg and place it in cold, cold water. Okay. Most of the candles are flush with the cake. OK. Ooh! Ooh, maybe too runny? It's very runny. I like my eggs runny. That'd be okay. It's the sound of a room full of adults <laughs> being excited by a boiled egg. I was very excited. I didn't know the ice thing. 
That's yeah, thing, it stops it? it cooking. It stops it cooking. I mean, really, Rose? Genuinely impressive. Oh, put the egg in the cold water. Just before it's boiling, call Joe Brand. <laughs> oh, it's perfect! Runny. Don't think it's too runny. Oh, oh my God, that looks so good! How wonderful after all these years for you to uh, find the missing William Blake lyric. The one that went... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to award a top spot yes. to the egg that I visually approved of the greatest. Joe. And that was Joe Brand's. Yeah, yeah. So it's another five points to Joe Brand. <laughs> nice job, Joe. Is it a team task? It is. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Can we get spit out our chewing gum? We've all got chewy eggs, as we're called. I swallowed mine. Sorry. <laughs> Bad luck. I know. No, it's not that. It's not oh. That. Get to you? know this person. You will be tested on your knowledge of this person in ten minutes' time. You must take him turns to ask a completely different question. The person will tell the truth, lie, then brag in that or order, but not necessarily starting with the truth. The person oh. will tell the truth. Tell the truth, lie, and brag, but not in that order. And you have to suss it out. Can you do the uh, the two guards thing? One of them will always lie, and one of them will always tell the truth. You know what I mean? And then you can kind of figure it out. Yeah, the well, order stays the same. So you need to figure out where uh, he's at now. in the cycle. Are you sitting on a chair? No. Okay, great. Well, that's the lie. So then, okay, so the next oh, so now it's brag. What's your name? Oh, wow, they Carlo. damn they figured it out immediately. Holy moly! They started with name. Oh no. Carlos Edwards. Carlos Edwards. What do you do? Uh, I'm modern day Jesus Christ. That sounds like a brag to me. I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? It's Gareth Simon Callahan, which is probably the best name you can imagine. Okay. So now it's the truth. May I ask what do you do for a living? <laughs> I'm a professional magician. Oh! What's your job? A training to be a doctor. Thank you. What's your greatest fear? The deep ocean. As in like being plonked right in the middle of the ocean. Being plonked in the middle of it. How old are you? Nearly 40. I live in a three-storey house on a farm. Do you live with some farmers? No. Do you farm? Yes. There's a doctor and a farmer. Oh, they don't get it. Oh, they don't get it. They don't get it. Yes. Certainly some line has gone on. I've never seen someone on a tractor <laughs> looking that at you. <laughs> what do you do? I'm a magician. Ah, that sounds true to me. Yeah. Oh. So what is it? Truth? Lie, Brian. 20 seconds left. We'll just please leave the lab and head over to the exam area. It was only really, really late area. in the day that I realised we were supposed to have a system. Yeah. So we were supposed to actually find out real stuff about it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, teams! <laughs> All right, let's see how the exam went. The exam will last a maximum okay. of 10 minutes. Question one. What is your name? Gareth Simon Callian. What is the person's name? Gareth Simon Kellyan. Well, he gave us one name, which was oh. Carlos Edwards. That's the only time he gave us yeah, a name. Yeah, well, let's so we use no that idea. then. Carlos oh. Edwards. I think he is a magician. I agree. Magician. magician. I am 39 years old. So Should we guess? Take a guess? Yeah. 36. Oh. I think he's had some work done. He's going to have work done. Let's see if he does it. 42. OK, OK. Final question. What is the person's party trick? Please do the trick. We've got three minutes, 50 seconds. This is our party trick. This is the party trick. This is our party trick. It's to talk about pants. Our answer is a physical offer. Oh! 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 He does it seven times and then he stops. Oh, I can make my tongue really big. That's crazy. That's crazier than the thumb thing. The eyebrows. The team of two got one and a half right, the team of three got three and a half right. But we were at a disadvantage. The right answer fell on the same person every True. time in their team because there were three, so it was easier to work yeah, out. And, uh, well, yeah. right. no, we no, didn't have a system because there was only two of us. <laughs> you didn't have a system because you just walked in, didn't give a fuck, and then left. <laughs> 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 Joe and David, two points. Two points to the team of two. I'm going to give Ed, Rose and Katie four points. OK, four oh. points to the team of three. Oh. There, there we go. Well done, well done.
Fair. I'm offering up a bonus point. <gasps> what? Do you want to tell the, the... They were more excited about the egg. <laughs> <laughs> It goes to the team member who best replicates the magician's big tongue. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's not coming out. Why is it not coming out? <laughs> Why can't you get your tongue out your mouth? <laughs> Joe is pretty strong. Oh, is it Joe or is it Ed? I'm going to give the bonus point to Joe Brown. Joe Brown gets one point for the It's tied to the top. Katie and Kerry, second place with 14, but Joe's in the lead with 16 points. Yes! Wow. Please make your way to the stage for the final task of the show. Oh, what is this mirror? Looking at your mirror and facing forward at all times, build the highest tower of bricks on the table behind you. Mm. Highest tower after two minutes wins. Ah. OK, you've got two minutes starting. What? <laughs> please face forwards, please face forward. Oh. Face forward! Face forward, please. Face forward, please. Oh, Joe? Oh, David Whip. Oh, my God. Ed is just a killer. Oh, getting one is good, David. Holding the mirror is big. No, Ed! It's Tricky Towers all over again. Fuck you, Matafeo. She's still going. Goes after the whistle. Wow, well, everybody had a great time up there, didn't they? Mm. I really enjoyed themselves. <laughs> well, the controversy <laughs> was, we saw Ed Campbell stacked a mighty two bricks on top of each other. Yes. Well, I'd freeze frames the moment when the whistle blew, and I can show it to you now. She has two stacked. It's Got pretty it. clear. I'm, like, I'm willing to... Look, I'm just... I've had a very rough episode. <laughs> you had a full-blown tantrum. Quite rightly. You're not even in this show. <laughs> <laughs> so with a total of one brick that way up, David and Kerry both get two points for coming joint fourth. Yep. Okay. Uh, one brick that way up, Joe Brand get three points. Nice. Two that way up, uh, joint winners with five points, Rose and a gamble. Hey! First time winner with 19 points, it's Joe Brand! Yeah! Nice job, Joe. <laughs> one off of Rose. Wow. What have we learned today? We've learned that if you find yourself tortured by life's existential questions, who are we? Why are we here? Yeah, one well, tongue. I'm afraid I can't help you. But the one thing I can guarantee is that the answer to any of these questions is not tie another spoon on it. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Joe! Oh, she's just... Oh, she's... Oh, not the ashes, though. Those are sentimental. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, she took the Margaret Thatcher nutcracker, though. Oh, that's so funny.